Aries, what's good? Welcome to your love edition, Terrascope, Terror Beam, Terror Vibe. This is Waterstar Vibes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much for all of your likes, subscribes, shares, donations. Now, if you're new, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be in tune with what we got going on here at Waterstar Vibes. Now, if you need a private reading, hit me up, waterstarvibes at gmail.com. Now, listen up, guys. We're doing something a little bit different. We're switching it up. We're going to be doing mind trips for the first or the top five zodiac signs. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn up with those. Going to get a little bit more intricately detailed. So, I am looking for the highest numbers, the highest views per video, okay, to do the mind trips. That's for the monthly, the mid monthly, and for the love scopes, okay? So, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share. Make sure you guys are commenting so that we can get these videos in circulation and they can be suggested so you guys can get those mind trips. Now, those mind trips help and they help enhance the readings okay and they help make them uh, a little bit more understandable they punch you in the gut they give you something to think about okay so you want those all right now we're gonna be looking into love i'm gonna be talking about um where you are right now like the love energies that's surrounding you then we're gonna be looking at how others see you in love okay if you got some secret admirers out there if you got some exes out there looking um then we're gonna just be wrapping it up talking about the energies that you will experience between now and the rest of the month okay so let's go ahead and get into it all right, Aries, Aries, love, love, love for 2019. Okay, first of all, we get, ooh, ooh, there is hope, people. So we look like we got somebody that's been through it, okay? This Nine of Wands, this is your energy right here. You then had to fight some battles when it comes to a specific person. That could be the other person who um, you just got done dealing with. This is definitely a breakup. And you guys are separated right now, and this person is feeling it or you're feeling it both of y'all feeling it okay and it, it's painful you know it hurts uh but at the same time there have been lessons learned there's been growth and this card is asking you not to give up now physically you may not feel like fighting for this relationship you may not feel like you know doing anything but that's what this hope card comes in see hope is about like a mental state of being right it's not you out there physically battling anymore calling writing showing up knocking on the door ringing the doorbell uh bringing this person flowers trying everything you can to make this relationship work trying to communicate and talk it's not about that anymore right it's about a state of being it's about letting it go being in separation relaxing knowing that if this is meant to be it will be when this person is ready to call they will call if they want me so bad and love me the, the way that they claim they did then it will work out that's what the hope card is all about so some of y'all need to stop fighting need to put it down okay stop calling stop writing stop showing up popping up stop sending this person messages stop stalking this person page and, and getting the vibration of hope Cause see when you do all of that stalking their page uh calling their friends all that kind of stuff that's a vibration of fear and believe it or not that pushes people away the energy of doing too much energetically you will push someone away okay when you can sit in a feeling of hope not do any of that and and, and sit in a trust and a hope that vibration is much higher and it yields the results that you want a lot sooner okay for some of y'all i'm seriously i'm seriously hearing just put it down just let it go even for a moment you know and some of y'all in that panic state i get that panic state of being like if i don't do something right now this is gonna be done it's gonna be over i gotta fight i gotta go for my person right right now and spirit is saying relax have hope being a, a different vibration this is aquarius energy right here so some of you guys can be dealing with an aquarius now how are people looking at you let's see what's going on on the other side because some of y'all feel like you're panicked too because you're worried about what this person thinks okay Ooh. wow someone okay let's just break this down let me just say what we got we got the nine of pentacles but then we have the eight of swords so this is like someone who's single who's independent who's on their own maybe even possibly got a good job or some money but they're miserable they don't want to be single. They don't want to be out of this relationship. So someone is looking at you like you're doing too much. You're calling too much. You're begging too much. And um, I know you don't want to be single right now, but this person, whoever you're dealing with, is often free. Or this is your energy. It's like somebody's calling. Someone's been begging you to give them another chance to talk to them, to say something to them. And it's like one person is single and free, and the other person is in total agony about it. Okay? 
We got two nines. Nines is almost the completion of cycles, things almost being done. So the conclusion of what's ever going to happen, either you guys are going to get back together and work it out, or it's going to be over with, dead, and done. It's, that's coming up in February, okay? Y'all going to get to y'all conclusion, okay? And we got two different energies here. So one person is going to feel like, okay, woo, yes, I'm great, I'm free, I'm flying, I can do what I want, I'm independent, you know, I got my own money up. They're going to come out of the relationship just fine. But then we got one person who's going to be coming out of this thing, beat up, battered, bruised, sad, <sighs> ready to give up in life, surrender, two different energies. Okay, so if y'all do decide to split up, I'm telling you now, one person is going to be very butthurt and the other person is going to be so happy it's over. Okay, one person is going to be independent, free, flying. They can see life for what it is now. And the other person is still going to be trapped mentally in what could have been and what they should have done, what they thought the other person should have done. Things of that nature, okay? So which energy are you in? All right, so a little bit more behind the scenes. What's going to be happening? What's coming up? All right, well, wow, yes. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles here. So some news or some information about maybe something you guys worked on together, some type of project that you worked on together, or even this is just job or promotion information coming in. So it seems as though whoever's going to be leaving this relationship with the Nine of Pentacles feeling like they good, I'm straight, or whatever, they might be receiving some good news because that's the vibration of the energy that you're in. So you may very well attract something brand new when it comes to like a job, a money venture, or something like that. What I just heard, this is kind of sad, but I'm sitting with some of y'all. The only reason why your blessings have been blocked is because you've been next to someone who was praying against you. Okay. And I don't want to say praying against you as much as I want to say, like having negative thoughts towards your success. Like they look at you like, I want you to be successful, but not more successful than me or not faster than what I would attain success. Okay. And that energy is very dangerous. Because a lot of people can miss out on their life purpose or destiny being around someone who's jealous. And jealous mates do exist, period. And I do kind of get that jealous mate energy as you're like exiting this relationship because it's like, I want you to stay here with me. Like this person, for some of y'all, not the majority, this person, like that crabs in a barrel mentality. I would rather you sit down here with me in the struggle than to let you go and fly and be independent, okay? I would rather you sit here, be battered and bruised with me than to let you go flying and, and be your own person, okay? But now, I say all of that to say because we have the full card next, which is some of you guys will be taking a total leap of faith. For some of you guys, you never thought you and this person would be over and done. You never thought this relationship would be over. But it is. Or at least you've decided to give something else a try for the moment. Like I said at the beginning, this is some type of separation. So y'all still trying to figure it out. But for the majority, you're going to be like, you know what? It's a new energy. It's a new year. I'm a new person. Let me take a leap of faith and just see what might happen if I do something else. If I make a different choice. Because I feel like for some of y'all, y'all been round and round and round with this person. It's been the same thing over and over and over. And you keep giving it chance after chance. And then you separate and then you come back. And then you give it uh, some time. And you let this person get their stuff together. And they come back and apologize. And everything's all good. But then it goes back to the same crap. And then it's back and forth and back and forth. And this time, this time, I feel like it's going to be different. I feel like this other person will be looking at you like, are you serious? Or that's where they're at now, like, because y'all been separated. And they're still trying to figure out, okay, so when are we coming back together? And it's the that thought that's hitting them, like, is this for real? We may not come back together this time. And that realization has somebody in a state of panic. So if they're not already <sighs> ringing and beating on the door and calling and messaging and all of that, then that's what energy is coming up. Because they really actually feel somebody about to be single, independent, free, and they about to do a brand new beginning without them. So it just depends on what side of the coin you're on, okay, what energy you're on. So that is what I get for you, Aries. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, subscribes, and shares. Remember, let's get those views up. Share this video. Tell all your people about Waterstar Vibes so you guys can get those mind trips. We about to turn up. If you need a private reading, hit me up, waterstarvibes at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you for your monthly.